Anyway, so I'm here having a play on the railway, as I do. I'm giving you a weekly update. So I've managed to get up here and do a little bit. My uh, girlfriend Magda is over. Say hi, Magda. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, and so I have a camera lady, which is fantastic. And what I'm doing today is... Only. Yeah, only uh, today. Well, maybe, maybe in the future you'll do some more with me. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can I show you what I'm up to? Yes, I can. So, at the moment it looks like a lot of mess. Yeah, it looks a bit messy. Yeah. I so believe it's going to look much better. It's going to look so. like the most wonderful mountain pass that anyone has ever seen. And uh, <laughs> so I've been cutting out bits of cardboard, as you'll see in the video clip. And um, basically, uh, between the cardboard bits, I've scrunched up some paper, and then I've got some plaster roll. I've just got some on the floor here. I just grab some. I just want You're not sure the piece here. Yes. Yeah, the floor is very messy. And just this uh, plaster moulding roll, and I'm going to lay that over, and we'll see how well that comes out. All the pot way that it comes to the um, mountain side, which I'm going to have my entrance. So I'll probably focus just doing this part first see how it comes out learn the steps to do this because i really don't know what to do about the cave entrance i might bring it further down and just make it i don't know just a bit bigger and also i need to be able to maintain the track so i don't want to completely cover it up so my plan is to have it so i can still work on things but we'll see what happens with that um but yeah, we'll see how we go well i'll be recording all the process i'll probably finish up in two days time so this will just be let's say the first day and we can work on to it um, but no it's a fun process I've been thinking about it a lot and looking at what other people have done and I'm looking forward to doing a bit more um, but yeah so we'll just go with that and I'll continue and I'll, I'll see you soon <laughs> So then when the plaster comes in, it's got some support, otherwise you'll get like pointy bits. Even if I do, I can really go back over with other things that don't look so good. I might do is I'm just dropping a bit of glue just to help fix it down. And this will probably take the next four years to dry, unfortunately. Mm. So, uh, so put that, even if it's slightly higher than the other bit, so then the trains come through. It would just look kind of cool, and I might even put like mini trees growing on the sides and stuff. So it's got a real picturesque kind of type thing going on. Um, looking forward to that. You have an expectation in your head and you think, yeah, just trying to meet that. And then you do it and then it, and then it looks way better. Mm -hmm. I mean, not normally. <laughs> normally it looks worse. You're like, oh, okay. Well, it kind of looks like what I imagined. I'd added some moulds of bits of glue across here and I forgot to do that there. So just scrunch up the bits of paper and just put them on. Maybe I need to buy a buy a newspaper when I'm on our travels tomorrow so I can continue. This is what I wrap the trains up in. Nice. And the locomotives is the platform. That's the real name, I guess. This bit, so it's like you've got to scrunch it like this. And that will stay up like that. And then we put like we can squash it back down afterwards. Let me just do that. I guess there's lots of people that have done this many times, but there'll be some people that haven't done it before. So it's nice for them to have a watch. So you put way too much glue on, because I'm useless. Probably need half of that or even less. And then what I do, I scrunch this, and I'll put that there, and it will fix it down. And I'll scrunch this here. It doesn't matter if it sticks out too far, because when I put the other stuff on, it will be supported. So it should be right. And then I'll do the same here. Just put some bits down. Bit, that was better this time. And we need to just support it. And I'll be putting a little bit of a roll here. Put that there. That'll be fine. 
And I've got paper. At least this is a good way to recycle, isn't it? <laughs> we don't use, we don't just throw all these old bits of paper away. So let's pop this big bit in, see how well this works out. And you can kind of shape it quite nicely once it's trapped in there. It's all right. I've had a bit more time, it's uh, it's actually a day later, not two days later, and I've got some of the plaster mat roll stuff. got it from, I don't know where the other roll is, but I've got this roll, it's 10 metres long, very dusty, um, I guess it's the plaster, and it's from Hobbycraft for a pound, 10 metres long, 10 centimetres wide, so I'm going to use that. I've also got some other party roll. This is more expensive. I can't remember how much it cost. I got it a little while ago. But I was impressed when it went to Hobbycraft. I think it must have been a thing so they can get rid of product. I saw the Wooden Scenics version of it and it was a fortune. So I can't really afford to go buy their stuff. I'm assuming the fact that it looks just like this, that it is the same. So I'm going to show you what I've done, but it's very simple. You cut the sizes that you kind of need. You put the lumpy side up because that's where the plaster is. You lay it over after putting it in water. You're going to see it in the video in a minute when I do it. Um, and then, yeah, you just apply. So have a little watch. I'm only doing what everyone else has done on YouTube. There's nothing special happening here. It's kind of fun, kind of easy. And uh, we'll see how we get on. I'll have a watch. Well, you can have a watch. And I'll have a play. So you saw before that I put all these little pieces. So the plaster is going to lay over the top of that and pick a shape. I probably didn't need to glue it all down, but it means I kept control of all of it. Got some pieces that I've already cut to size, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to drop them in the water. Some people have recommended going for a lot of time. I was feeling like it's activating straight away, so we don't really need to do that. So as I bring it over here, I'll drop it over the top. I want it to meet the side of my track, but I can always apply more. And that's sitting there. So that's just water in there. And I just put a little bit of water so there's moisture on there. And I'll just kind of just prod the surface, kind of paint it over, and it lets the plaster kind of start mushing around. And it kind of goes nice and smooth and some of the pores clear up, but we can come over on a second layer on this. I'm trying to avoid the track. I think that's pretty important. If you wanted to, I guess you could cover up the track. But in this case, I think we're okay. So that's that. I can always add in some other bits, but I'm happy. So then I want to do my next piece, which is a bigger piece. Um, it'll be over this side this time. And I can just keep cutting to my heart's content till I'm happy. So let's just bring that over there. Makes a little snap, crackle and pop noise when it goes into the water. And I just drop that on to meet the edge of where I wanted it to. Just come with your fingers, I don't believe it's bad for you. They wrap it around your arm, so it can't be that bad. So again, just come and be gentle with it. Get it to meet up with the other bit of fabric. And we can just paint it so it meets the next surface down. And just prod that surface around to, to kind of smooth it out. Make sure it's well and truly going to be what you're after. I didn't cut too many pieces before doing the video, but I'm going to cut them as I go. So this one I'm going to cut to some different sizes and shapes. And I'll drop it in again. And it's crackling and popping. And I'm just going to drop that on the front of this one so it meets the bottom this side. To be honest, you could probably do a lot of this with your fingers. You probably don't even need a brush. But the brush will probably be a nice way, a delicate way of doing it. I understand it would take a while for this to dry. It seems like a lot of water on here already. 
Right, that's the next one. And we'll just keep applying until we work all the way to the top. I went to Penda Museum today and that was really interesting. And they had all the this this mammoth sized layout which had this this wonderful scenic route going around and I um, really enjoyed myself and it gave me inspiration on I was worrying about how to do this yet they've done it on this massive scale so well let's have a go myself then so we just keep cracking on keep adding on I'm gonna do a video I've got a video coming um, for pending that I recorded today just some slow motion shots maybe I'll give you a bit of a, a bio on the on the subject and um, we'll go from there and it should be cool Hi guys, so I'm pretty happy with how I've got on. I've managed to make it look like a mountain, rocky, hilly thingy. I guess you'd never see it looking like this in real life, in reality, like where it's swirling around, but this is my railway and I'll have it how I like. I just want to give you a bit of feedback. The hobbycraft stuff, let's call it um, plaster or Paris, um, which is I've seen its bandage. Um, it activates so quickly, you put it in the water and it starts working, you hear it kind of snap crackle and popping. Um, whereas, and, and you've got the lumpy side and the more smoother side, it, it works really, really well. Whereas the, it's called Creation Station, I got it off the internet. It's these bigger sheets, but you had to soak it in the water for ages and I still wasn't happy with it. When you started painting it with a brush or moving it with your fingers, it didn't spread. So, I wasn't so convinced. So I might go to Hobbycraft and get some more of their one pound rolls whereas this was a lot more expensive so if we take a little look at it you'll see um, just here um, it's gone harder like it's gone firm it's been like half an hour um, but it's very holy whereas when you come to the bits from Hobbycraft it's smoothed over a lot more you see the tiny holes but I'm going to come back over and um, put another layer on just to help smooth it out even more and then we can just go from there and then I can start painting it I can add shrubs and different um, nice looking little trees and stuff like that so very very pleased if I'm honest with you I kind of thought yeah look all right we can add things to it afterwards but no I think it kind of came out to the desired effect so I'm gonna have to continue with the other part of it maybe on another video I like to maybe concentrate on painting this up learn the process so by the time I get to what will be the main cave or mountain pass bits I know what I'm doing a bit more but anyway, thank you for watching again. Don't forget to hit subscribe, click like, click the bell if you don't already because it will let you know that I've put a video up. You might miss very important videos. Um, and leave a comment, like I said, on every other video. I really enjoy the comments. I like to see what you have to say. And yeah, see you next time. Look after yourself. Don't get into any trouble. And I'll uh, see you next time. Bye.